Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some important multiple choice questions with answers from Unit 2, Image Enhancement of Digital Image Processing. First question, what is the basis for numerous spatial domain processing techniques? Four options are given, option A, transformation, option B, scaling, option C, histogram, Option D, none of the above mentioned. So, always remember, spatial domain processing means the main basis is histogram. Option C is the right answer. Next question, what is histogram equalization also called as? So, histogram equalization is also called as histogram linearization. Option C is the right answer. Next question, what is histogram matching also called as? So, four options are given. Option A, histogram equalization, histogram specification, histogram linearization. Option D, none of the above mentioned. The correct answer is option B, histogram specification. Next question. Histogram equalization is mainly used for dash. Option A, image enhancement. Option B, blurring. Option C, contrast adjustment. Option D, none of the above mentioned. The correct answer is it is used for image enhancement. Option A is the right answer. Next question, the type of histogram processing in which pixels are modified based on the intensity distribution of the image is called as dash. Option A intensive, option B local, option C global, option D random. So it is called as global. So option C is the right answer. Next question, which of the following shows three basic types of functions used frequently for image enhancement. Option A, linear, logarithmic and inverse law. Option B, power law, logarithmic and inverse law. Option C, linear, logarithmic and power law. Option D, linear, exponential and inverse law. So, frequently used functions are power law, logarithmic and inverse law. Option B is the right answer. Next question, which expression is obtained by performing the negative transformation on the negative of an image with gray levels of the range 0 to L minus 1? So, option C is the right answer. S is equal to L minus 1 minus R. Next question, what is the general form of representation of power transformation? So, power transformation can be represented as option A, S is equal to C, R power gamma. Option B, C equal to S, R power gamma. Option C, S is equal to R, C. And option D, S is equal to R, C power gamma. So, the correct answer is option A, S is equal to C, R power gamma. Next question. What is the name of process used to correct the power law response phenomena? Option A, beta correction. Option B, alpha correction. Option C, gamma correction. And option D, pi correction. The correct answer is option C, gamma correction. Next question. Which of the following transformation function requires much information to be specified at the time of input. Option A, log transformation. Option B, power transformation. Option C, piecewise transformation. Option D, linear transformation. The correct answer is option C, piecewise transformation. Next question, in contrast stretching, if R1 equal to S1 and R2 equal to S2, then which of the following is true? So, four options are given. 
the correct answer is the transformation is a linear function that produces no changes in gray levels next question in which type of slicing highlighting a specific range of gray levels in an image often is desired option a gray level slicing option b bit plane slicing option c contrast stretching option d byte level slicing the correct answer is option a gray level slicing next question which of the following depicts the main functionality of bit plane slicing so four options are given the correct answer is highlighting the contribution made to total image appearance by specific bits so it is called as bit plane slicing next question what is the output of a smoothing linear spatial filter option a median of pixels option b maximum of pixels option c minimum of pixels option d average of pixels so this is output of smoothing linear spatial filter so the correct answer is option d average of pixels next question smoothing linear filter is also known as median filter true or false the above statement is false next question which of the following is the disadvantage of using smoothing filter option a blur edges option b blur inner pixels option c remove sharp transitions option d sharp edges so the main drawback is option a blur edges so due to smoothing blur edges will occur next question the mask shown in the figure below belongs to which type of filter so it is masked 1 by 16 into 3 cross 3 matrix so this belongs to smoothing spatial filter next question median filter belongs to which category of filters option a linear spatial filter option b frequency domain filter option c order static filter and option d a sharpening filter so median filter belongs to order static filter option c is the right answer next question what is the maximum area of the cluster that can be eliminated by using an n cross n median filter so option a n square option b n square by 2 option c 2 n square and option d n the correct answer is option b n square by 2 next question which of the following is the primary objective of sharpening of an image so in sharpening of the image option a blurring the image option b highlight the fine details in an image option c increase the brightness of the image option d decrease the brightness of the image the correct answer is option b highlight the fine details in the image this is called as sharpening next question image sharpening process is used in electronic printing true or false it is true next question in spatial domain which of the following operation is done on the pixels in sharpening the image option a integration option b average option c median option d differentiation always remember in spatial domain for sharpening the image we will be using differentiation option d is the right answer next question image differentiation enhances the edges discontinuities and de emphasizes the pixels with slow varying gray levels true or false the above statement is true next question what is the thickness of the edges 
produced by first order derivatives when compared to that of second order derivatives option a finer option b equal option c thicker option d independent the correct answer is option c thicker next question which of the following derivatives produce a double response at step changes in gray level option a first order derivative option b third order derivative option c second order derivative option d first and second order derivatives the correct answer is second order derivative next question which of the following make an image difficult to enhance so four options are given option a narrow range of intensity level option b dynamic range of intensity level option c high noise option d all of the above mentioned the correct answer is all of the above mentioned of d is the right answer next question dark characteristics in an image are better solved using dash option a laplacian transform option b gaussian transform option c histogram specification option d power law transformation the correct answer is power law transformation so the dark characteristics in an image can be better solved using power law transformation next question dash is used to detect diseases such as bone infection and tumors so for detecting bone infection and tumors nuclear whole body scan is needed so option c is the right answer next question an alternate approach to median filtering is option a use a mask option b gaussian filter option c sharpening option d laplacian the correct answer is option a use a mask next question final step of enhancement lies in dash of the sharpened image so the final step is option c increase dynamic range of the sharpened image next question in homomorphic filtering which of the following operations is used to convert input image to discrete fourier transformed function option a logarithmic operation option b exponential operation option c negative transformation and option d none of the above mentioned the correct answer is option a logarithmic operation next question a class of system that achieves the separation of illumination and reflections component of an image is termed as option a base class system option b homomorphic system option c base separation system option d all of the above mentioned the correct answer is option d homomorphic system next question which of the following image component is characterized by a slow spatial variation option a illumination component option b reflectance component option c all of the above mentioned option d none of the above mentioned the correct answer is option a illumination component next question which of the following image component varies abruptly particularly at the junction of dissimilar objects option a illumination component option b reflectance component option c all of the above mentioned option d none of the above mentioned the correct answer is option b reflectance component next question in general which of the following assures of no ringing in the output gaussian low pass filter ideal low pass filter butterworth low pass filter all of the above mentioned the correct answer is option a gaussian low pass filter there will be no ringing in the output next question the edges and the other abrupt changes in gray level of an image are associated with high frequency components next question the function of filters in image sharpening in frequency domain is to perform reverse operation of which of the following low pass filter so image sharpening so for that we will be using ideal low pass filter
Next question, if the histogram of same images with different contrast are different, then what is the relation between the histogram equalized images? Option A, they look visually very different from one another. Option B, they look visually very similar to one another. Option C, they look visually different from one another just like the input images. Option D, none of the above mentioned. The correct answer is option B. They look visually very similar to one another. Next question. What is the full form of CDF? So CDF stands for cumulative distribution function. Option C is the Next question. What is the sum of all components of a normalized histogram? So for normalized histogram, the sum of all components is equal to 1. Option A is the right answer. Next question, a spatial averaging filter having all the coefficient equal is termed as box filter. If all the coefficients are equal means then it is called as a box filter. Next question, what is the relation between blurring effect with change in filter size? So blurring effect with change in filter sizes, blurring increases with increase in size of the filter size. Next question, which of the following low pass filter covers the range of very sharp filter function? So ideal low pass filters. Option A is the right answer. Next question, Butterworth low pass filter has a parameter first order determining its functionality as very sharp and very smooth filter function or an intermediate filter function. If the parameter value is very high, the filter approaches to which of the following filter? So the filter approach to ideal low pass filter. Next question. In an ideal low pass filter case, what is the relation between filter radius and the blurring effect cast because of the filter? So filter size is inversely proportional to blurring cast because of filter. So as the filter size is increased, the blurring gets decreased. Option B is the right answer. Using the feature of reciprocal relationship of filter in spatial domain and corresponding filter in frequency domain along with convolution, which of the following factors is true? Option A, the narrower the frequency domain filter, more severe is the ringing. Option B, the wider the frequency domain filter, more severe is the ringing. Option C, the narrower the frequency domain filter, less severe is the ringing. And option D, none of the above mentioned. The correct answer is, the narrower the frequency domain filter, more severe is the ringing. Option A is the right answer. Next question, a Butterworth filter of what order has no ringing? So, Butterworth filter of first order has no ringing. So, option A is the right answer. A specific range of gray levels highlighting is the basic idea of option D, gray level slicing. Next question, which of the following transform produces a binary image after processing? So four options are given, contrast stretching, gray level slicing, all of the above mentioned, option D, none of the above mentioned. The correct answer is contrast stretching and gray level slicing. So option C is the right answer. Which of the following helps to obtain the number of widths to be used to quantize each pixel? Option A, gray level slicing. Option B, contrast stretching. Option C, contouring. Option D, bit plane slicing. The correct answer is option D, bit plane slicing. I hope you all have understood the important multiple choice questions with answers from unit 2. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.